uh, we will do one more word problem in division let's start a group of 16 students went on a trip a group of 16 students went on a trip the trip cost them rupees 16384 altogether how much did each student give i'll repeat a group of 16 students went on a trip the trip cost them rupees 16384 altogether how much did each student give we will go for the solution the first one cost of a trip we will write cost of a trip cost of a trip that is rupees 16384 next number of students number of students that is 16 16 cost of a trip 16384 number of students 60 okay therefore how much did each students give therefore amount or cost both is correct amount is given by each each student is equal to 16384 divided by 16 so I'm going to division here. Sixteen thousand three hundred and eighty-four. It is a dividend, and sixteen is a divisor. Now, sixteen thousand three hundred and eighty-four is divided by sixteen. Take the first digit. That is. 1s, 10s, 100, 1000, then 10,000. Take the first digit, 1. So, 1 is less than 16, so you can't divide. So, go to the next digit, that is 16 is equal to 16. So, 16 is divided by 16. It is 1, 16 is a 16. That is 1 into 16, you can get 16. Or 16 into 1, you can get 16. Now, 16 minus 16, you can get 0. That is 6 minus 6 equal to 0. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. We will go to the next digit. That is 3. Under space 3. Compare, cancel 0. So, compare with 3 and 16. That is, 3 is less than 16. So, you have to bring down the next digit. That is, so what is the number that is 8 so in this place I told you already see in this place uh, 3 you bring down compare with this number 3 is less than 16 so you can't divide you will go to the next digit that is 8 that is what 38 so you have to bring down the next two digit at a time so you have to put 0 here so 16 into 2 that is if you want you can multiply like this 6 twos are 12 carry over is 1 1 twos are 2 2 plus 1 3 that is 32 32 so 32 is the answer so 32 is less than 38 so 2 times 2 into 16 you can get 32 you have to subtract so 8 minus 2 you can get 6 3 minus 3 you can get 0 so after that you have to go to the next digit compare with the 6 and 16 6 is less than 16 you can't divide so you have to 
bring down you have to bring down the next digit that is 4 now it's 6 it becomes 64 64 is greater than 64 is greater than 16 now you can divide so how many time it comes 64 is divided by 16 that means 16 into 4 you can get 64 if you want you can multiply like this 4 6 are 24 4 carry over is 2 1 4 is 4 4 plus 2 is 6 that is 64 so you have to put 4 here then you can get 64 64 minus 64 you can get 0 or else 4 minus 4 you can get 0 or 6 minus 6 you can get 0 you can put only one zero that is enough that is is this reminder so there is no number in reminder so zero is zero, the reminder is zero this is a quotient q this is a quotient the answer is 1024 1024 that is 1024 so amount is given by each student that is again i'll write amount is given by each student is equal to rupees 1024 this is the answer but anyhow you must know whether the answer is right or wrong so what you're going to do you have to use the check method check method check method means you know that quotient into divisor within the bracket plus reminder is equal to dividend that is the question dividend so what is the quotient 1024 is multiplied by the divisor it is 16 within the bracket plus reminder is 0 0 reminder is 0 find the answer so I am going to multiply 1024 into 16 once tens under thousand multiply by 16 first you have to multiply by 6 so 6 fours are 24 4 carry over is go to the tens top of the tens place so 6 twos are 12 12 plus 2 14 4 carry over is goes to the hundreds place next uh, what is this Z 6 into 0 0 0 plus 1 you can get 1 then again 1 6 are 6 I will repeat once again once again That is 6 fours are 24 4. Carry over is goes to the tens place, the top of the tens place. 6 twos are 12. 12 plus 2 14. 4. The carry over is go to the hundreds place value. Then 1 into 0 0. 0 plus 1 1. And 6 ones are 6. Next one, I am going to multiply by 1. Before I am going to multiply 1, you have to put 0 in ones place. So, 1 4s are 4, 1 2s are 2, 1 0 0, then 1 0 0, then 1 1s are 1. Now, you have to add both numbers. 4 plus 0 4, 4, 4 plus 4 8, and 2 plus 1 3, 6 plus 0 6, and 1 60. That is 1 6 3 8 4, that is 16,384. You will get the same quotient. Sorry, you sorry. You will get the same dividend. Dividend that is the question. So dividend is in this place sixteen thousand three hundred and eighty four. That is the dividend. That is the question is given in the question. So the answer is also the check method answer is also correct. So your quotient that is your answer that is amount is given by each students rupees thousand thousand twenty four rupees. It's perfectly correct that is 16384 if you get this question for the question by the help of by by using the check method you will get this answer that is the quotient that is 1000 to 1024 rupees 
1024 rupees otherwise the amount is given by each student is rupees 1024 this is the perfect answer this is the right answer so each students um, are paying uh, or each student paid rupees 1024 rupees and student uh, you kindly listen you watch the videos once or twice whenever you get free time you uh, concentrate the multiplication as well as the division and practice more and more sin then only you can get the perfection thank you